Hello everyone, welcome back, Crown Geek here. So today in this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to install the Ubuntu latest version that is 25.04 on the virtual box. So the process will be very easy, very simple. And the very first thing you have to assure on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 that the virtualization has been enabled. And in order to check what you can do, right click on your taskbar, then choose task manager. And here from the left hand side, you have to click on performance. And under the performance in the CPU section on the right hand corner, you will find the virtualization. So on my end, you can see it's already been enabled. But if you find it disabled, then you will have to go and enable it using the BIOS. I've already created a video how you can enable from the BIOS. If you want to check that video, the link will be in the description. All right. So once you have enabled the virtualization, next, bring up any of your browser. And now we have to download the Ubuntu ISO here. So search here Ubuntu or download Ubuntu latest. Then you have to click on the first link here, Ubuntu.com, download Ubuntu. Then you will be getting the previous version, 24.4. Uh, then you have to scroll down and you need to look for this latest one that is Ubuntu 25.04. Then on the right hand side, you have to click on Intel or AMD 64-bit architecture and it's around 5.9 gigabyte. So click on download here and it will take a moment here to start the downloading automatically. And here we go. So the downloading has been started and you can see I've already downloaded it so that I can save the time. So what I can do, I can close it, but you will have to wait until the ISO has been downloaded. Now, once it get downloaded, open up a new tab and you need to download the virtual box. So type here virtual box download click on the first link of Oracle virtual box on the left hand side it give you for Windows Mac Linux so you need to click on Windows host and again the downloading of virtual box will be started and it's around 119 MB so it won't take much time so wait until it's all been done all right so once you get downloaded click on the virtual box at a file click on yes click on next accept the term go with the next go with the basic installation here and finally, you will be getting this kind of dashboard of Open Virtual Box Manager. Now here you can see on the top, you get many options like preferences, import, export, new and add. So we have to add a new machine here, new virtual machine. So you will have to click on new. Okay, and here we have to configure the virtual machine. On the top, it says name, so type Ubuntu. ISO image. So the ISO you have downloaded of Ubuntu, you need to browse here. So on the right side, click on the drop down, choose other. Locate to the place where you have downloaded the ISO. It's in my download section. So I will select it and click on open. Next in the type, it will be Linux. Subtype will be Ubuntu. Version will be Ubuntu 64 bit. Now here below it says skip unattended access. You need to check this because we don't need it. Then directly you can click on the hardware box here. Hardware section. Base memory. It is asking you that how much RAM you want to give to this virtual machine. So this will depend upon your physical memory that how much RAM you have on your device. So if you have eight, then you can give around four. If you have 16, then also you can give four. So on my end, I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So I can give around four here. And if you're not sure, then you can just right click on the taskbar, bring up the task manager. And here you can find out the information that how much RAM do you have? So I have 16, so instead of going eight, I can go with four, but you have to keep it half the value here. Processors, again, it will depend. You can go in the CPU section and how much core you have. Like I have eight cores, so I can go with four or I can go with two. So two is enough for me. Then I will click on hard disk. Then it will say that how much storage you need. So I recommend you that at least take 30 or 35. And then finally, you will have to click on finish. Bingo. So the machine is being configured now. We also need to make more changes here. So don't click on start. Click on the settings here on the top. And then you can see there are multiple options that you can manage even in the future. So here, what you have to do in the general only, click on advanced. Then you will find here shared clipboard and drag and drop. You need to change it to bi-directional, both drag and drop also. Then you have the base memory that we already selected, the processor. Okay, now next you have to come to the display section from the left hand side. And in the display, the video memory, you have to increase it. 
So you can go with the max 128 MB or you can go with 96. So try going with the full here, whatever shows you the full. On my end, it only shows me 128. On your end, it can be 256 or maybe more than that. Whatever is the maximum, you can choose it. In case if you have any problem, then you can try to reduce it. Like I will keep around 96 here. Then below you find an option enable 3D acceleration. You need to check this option. Now come to the storage and make sure under the controller ID, the ISO has been selected. If not, then you can select it from here only. Okay, we are all done now. So click on apply or click on OK. And now we can go and start the machine here. So click on start and the Ubuntu machine will now be loading up. So here it gives you three options. Try or install Ubuntu, Ubuntu or test memory. So you need to select the first one. Try or install Ubuntu and hit the enter key. And for a while it may give you the black screen. So just wait. And very soon you will be getting the, the Ubuntu page that says Ubuntu 25.04. Alright, so it will ask you the general information like choose your language. So select the language, click on next. Select your keyboard layout, then you have to click on next. Connect to the internet. Uh, now keep in mind that connecting to the internet and downloading the required packages and software will take a lot of time to install and configure uh, the Ubuntu machine here. But I have to show you, so no worries, I will use the wide connection here. If the Wi-Fi is also connected, you can use the Wi-Fi connection as well. Alright, so once done, now you can click on next. What do you want to do with the Ubuntu, install Ubuntu? Yes, I want to install it. How would you like to install Ubuntu? Interactive installation. So this is basically for the beginners. Now, if you're not sure too much about it, then you should go with the interactive installation. Click next. What apps would you like to install to start with? So default selection. Now, I won't recommend you to go with the standard selection or else it will take a long time. And if you have no issues with that, then you can go and choose the extended selection. It will be installing all the office tool, utilities and the web browser. As of now, I will go with the default selection and I will click on next. Install third party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware. Please check this option and then click on next. How do you want to install Ubuntu? It is this can install Ubuntu. Keep this selected. Click on next. Encryption and file system. Keep it to no encryption. Then you have to create your account. So type your account name. Then create a password. And then click on next. Choose your location. Click on next. Click on install. All right. So now this will take a long time. So guys, make sure uh, you have some patience here. It may take about 15 minutes. It may take about half an hour maybe 45 minutes so we are not sure so keep the computer as it is make sure that if you're using a laptop then your charger is being connected all right so we will wait here until all the work is being completed okay finally it took around 40 minutes on my end to install the ubuntu so it may be less or more on your end and once it will be done it says ubuntu is installed and ready to use so go ahead and restart the computer i mean restart the virtual machine by clicking on restart now And the next time when the Ubuntu will be coming up, you will be getting the dashboard where you have to log in with the same user account that you have created. So click on it, type the password and just it will take you to the desktop. Bingo. Welcome to Ubuntu. And now you will be getting this kind of dashboard. Now in order to make it full screen, you can just click on view here on the left and top, then click on a full screen mode. Click on switch. And still you can see the resolution is down. So we can make a right click on the desktop here. Choose our display settings. And I will change the resolution here from 1280 into 800 by 1920 into 180. Click on keep changes. All right. So now you can see how we have a proper virtual machine here. And it's working absolutely perfect. Very fast. Very responsive. Without any kind of problem. Now, one essential thing that you have to do here, uh, click on search for the terminal, open it up and you have to update all the pending applications. So type here sudo space apt space update. Type the password of your user account and hit the enter key. So it will be updating all the applications. 
Next, it says 14 packages can be upgraded. So next you have to type sudo space apt upgrade. Sorry, I made a mistake. sudo space apt space upgrade and hit the enter key. This may ask you for the permission, so press the Y key. And again, wait for a few seconds until the upgrade is being completed. All right, so once it will be done, now you're ready to use the Ubuntu virtual machine on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 without any kind of problem. And hopefully, guys, you will like the tutorial and found the information very useful. If yes, please hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.